Today we're making an apple pizza. So, if you look at the apple pizza, you can see that it's quite brown and porous. Uh, the first thing you're going to want to do is give it a little incision on the uh, epidermis here. And then, that's how you do it. It's like Hume always said. It's a fork. Y you see, it says, it says it right here. It's it can't be wrong. Rachel Ra says the most important thing about cooking is the spices. Spices. That's why cumin. That's why we like to put cinnamon in our spices. You want to use cinnamon. And also cumin. Cumin. And tamales. Used syringes. Used syringes. You dingus. And if you're feeling spicy. To start cooking apple tortilla, we need a plate, three cumin, three pizzas, two spoons panko, one spoon spoon, and a fruit. Three pizzas. Please, come on. Just cooperate, please. A nice black fruit. Three pizzas. If you take a look at this apple, it's nicely pocket, making a nice pocket for that panko, and it's really going to make this pizza taste good. It can be important to use good pizza to reveal flour, skin, and get up into the different layers of your pizza. Hume also said that tofurkey is great on a pizza. It can be one of the most important ingredients. Tofurkey. That's how you do it. But you might be wondering, where do I get a tofu? Well, we're here to show you. Now you might be mistaken. Now you may be mistaken. Now you might be sorely mistaken. You might think that that object on top of the refrigerator is in fact a dofu. A dofu. You'd be sorely mistaken. You dingus. That's a watermelon, you dingus. That is a watermelon. Economical. It's very economical and also healthy to grow your own dofu. Into the different layers of your pika. Um, I started growing this dofu on June uh, 1995, Tofurky, when I was born, and um, it's it's not genetically modified in any way, and uh, it really it really brings this pizza together. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna finish this out here. You you're really gonna want to squeeze the apple pie, cumin, and get it get a nice mixture going there, and then it's done. That's it. Join us next time on Pagan Cooking. Well, next time we make tortilla bread? Three times.